Okay, so let's talk about the implementation of the the heap API. Um, we what we do is we define a structure for a heap, but uh, that structure is simply holding uh, a hash table. So the hash table is really what we're using in, internally to hold the data. So and, uh, whenever we the empty heap is going to be just this data structure initialized with the empty hash table. Um, a handle is just a structure that holds an integer. Uh, and then what we're going to use uh, do to, to make sure that integers are unique or to handles are unique is just ensure that the integers themselves are unique. And I'm going to talk about that once I introduce uh, the heap allocation. Uh, EFFs we've already seen is just this data structure that is basically a pair. So it has a field for the state, updated state, and it has a field for the result of the operation. What you will see later is that we actually use this EFF data structure in multiple slides, uh, in multiple content, not just for um, this part, but also for um, monads, which we'll cover in the future. Okay, so heap allocation, which we covered, um, has only four lines of code, so it's quite simple. Um, the idea is that um, first thing we do is we retrieve the hash table, which you call data, uh, and then we create the new handle. And the new handle is created by um, just counting how many elements you have in the hash table. So if you have um, your uh, hash table is empty, the first handle will be zero. And then once you allocate it, because you're putting something in that hash table, now you have one element that becomes the new ID. So that's the following ID. If you add, once you allocate it, you now have two, two keys, right? Handle zero, handle one. So what we're doing is basically whenever you allocate, you are uh, getting the following element, which can be very simply computed with using the function hash count, which returns how many elements are in the hash table. Um, this is simple because we don't allow for removing elements from the hash table. If we allowed for uh, elements of the heap to be removed, then we would have to make this algorithm a bit sm smarter, where it would go through the keys and find the first one that doesn't exist, uh, which is also not very complicated, but unnecessary in the current implementation requirements. So next, what we do, we have to create the new heap, and we do so by calling hash set. So what hash set does, it takes the original hash table and assigns the new ID as the key and the value, whatever value you provided. Um, so that then you wrap it in a heap and you get your new heap. So finally, you should return the state and the identifier, which is the handle, right? Um, Next, uh, heap get is pretty trivial. The only thing you have to do is you get the hash table and call the hash ref, which just looks up, looks up the key K. Hash put uh, retrieves the hash table to data. So exactly what we did in allocation. And then what we have is just this simple conditional to just make sure that the key is defined. If it's not, we throw an error, which is what you saw when I tried to use it. Otherwise, you just look up, you just update calling a function hash set, which, which given a, a hash table, you can update the contents of that key, uh, and it returns the updated hash table. So you wrap that around the heap. And that's it. That's the basic API, and you'll be needing this in your uh, homework for module five.